Hey, how you guys doing out there today? This is Stephan Jimenez from the Roto Beast team, and I'm here to present you our NBA picks for Saturday, December 23rd. If you're new to our channel, please make sure and click the subscribe button below. This way you can watch all of our NFL and NBA videos. And please make sure and click the like button on this video as it really helps us out. Um, so before we jump into slate, I just have a couple of things I really want to talk about. I'm really excited about. Um, right now, I got my... Um, my NBA season package, it's on sale half off right now, $125 uh, for the rest of the season. And it includes the playoffs. You get one lineup every day for FanDuel and DraftKings. So make sure and check that out on our website at www.rotobeast.net. Um, and also, um, I'm coming out with that new app. You know, this app is going to be a game changer. It's going to be an app, a full app that, you know, it's going to have an optimizer. You're going to be able to actually... Um, save lineups and um, you know export them via um, CSV through the app. Um, it's going to be very, very, very. Um, it, it's going to be a very, be a very exciting next month for me. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so make sure and just uh, stay tuned. Uh, keep 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 a look out of you know what we got going on. Make sure and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And um, yeah, so let's jump into it. We'll talk about this 12-game slate. I'm going to just quickly go through this slate just because, I mean, there's so many things that we're waiting on. Um, you know, half of the games don't even have Vegas lines yet. There's no information on them. Waiting for tons of news to come out tomorrow. Um, you know, I, I do this the night before, so it's kind of like a first look. Um, you know, at, you know, what we're going to be looking at tomorrow. So, you know, check back throughout the day. I'll post things in the comment section below of people that, you know, maybe should be locks or people that I may have talked about that they got ruled out or something happened. Um, yeah, so let's just jump into it. Um, so the couple games I'm really going to be targeting that I like is going to be Milwaukee at Charlotte. I think that's going to be a really good game. we just seen it tonight. It's going to flip-flop and go back to Charlotte tomorrow. Then you got Brooklyn at Indiana. This is going to be a very a really fast up tempo game. Then we got Orlando at Washington. Um, this game, I mean, I don't know what was going on with John Wall today. Um, Washington actually just got crushed by the um, the Nets. It's kind of embarrassing for them. I think they'll bounce back against Orlando. Then you got Denver at Golden State. Minnesota going into Phoenix and then Portland against the Lakers. Those are going to be like my favorite games I'm really going to be targeting. Um, so let's just jump into it, get through this real quick. We'll start at point guard. Westbrook, his price is actually down a little bit, and his production hasn't been down. I mean, he's had the past five games, he's got you at least 58 in every game except for one. Um, for him to hit value, you need 55. That's very doable. He just got 57 against Utah in only 27 minutes, um, you know, just a couple games ago. Um, so I really like Westbrook. Then we got Kyrie. People are giving him a hard time because Boston's stumbling a little bit right now. But he's doing everything that he can to help his team. He scored 30 actual real-life points in Five of the past six games, um, he's really been shooting the ball well. Um, you know, he the problem is is he hasn't really been filling up the stat sheet a whole lot, so he's having you know these thirty four and twenty eight performances that's making him a little bit inconsistent. But overall for the year, he's averaging thirty eight um, fantasy points a game. Um, for him to hit value, we do need about forty five. Um, in the past two games, he's got you a 48 and a 44. Um, I definitely think he can hit value tomorrow, but I think he's a little bit more of a GPP play. Then we got Bledsoe. He just was in this matchup tonight. He played 35 minutes, 24 points, 5 rebounds, 10 assists, 3 blocks, 2 steals for 56 fantasy points. You can't expect this 56 fantasy point performance again, but for him to hit value, you only need 36. I, I, I would say you can easily expect a 35 to 40 fantasy point game, so I really like Bledsoe tomorrow. And then we got Jeff Teague. Going against Phoenix. Phoenix doesn't play any defense. The minutes are up. Um, he just had this matchup a couple games ago. He played 34 minutes and he went off for 42 fantasy points. Um, so I really like Teague. The draw gets just supposed to be out again. 
We got Tyler Johnson. I mean, he's been picking up the minutes. He's playing massive minutes the past three, 36, 39, 38. And he's filling up the stats. He's doing a little bit of everything. He's not doing nothing crazy exciting, but he's hitting you value 27.6, 38.7, and 30, um, which is right value right on the dot tonight. Um, so I really like Tyler Johnson. And then we got Lillard. He's supposed to be out tomorrow. If he's going to be out tomorrow, Napier is almost going to be a lock, must start against my Lakers. He was supposed to start today. They ended up starting somebody else. The guy was trash. Napier pretty much played the rest of the game. I'm starting the second half. He played 37 minutes. Um, you know, he filled up the stat sheet for the most part. He got 35 fantasy points. Um, it was a great night for him and a loss. Going against my Lakers tomorrow in an up-tempo game. Um, I feel like this guy's pretty much a lock if he starts. So I'm going to put him in our core. We got Oladipo. His price is starting to go down a little bit finally. Um, he was just in his matchup not too long ago, and he went off for 40 fantasy points. For him to have value, we're going to need, on his this 9.3 price tag, we're going to need about 47. Um, and I definitely think he can get there. He's averaging 42 fantasy points a game. Also, Brooklyn's going to be on a back-to-back. -back. Um, so, you know, I feel like that gives the Pacers a little bit of an advantage. Um, so I do like Oladipo on the higher end. We got Drew Holiday. I mean, the guy's just playing well. We talked about him yesterday a little bit. Today, he only played 29 minutes in a blowout win um, versus the Magics, and he got 39 fantasy points. He's been very consistent. He's been on fire. I mean, in the past, what, one, two, three, four, five, six games, the least he's got you is 33. For him to hit value, you need about 37, 38. Um, I really like him in this spot tomorrow. Then we got Middleton. He just played this game today. Played 38 minutes. Went off at 39 fantasy points. I mean, I could definitely see him getting you at 35 again tomorrow. Um, fairly easy. That's what he's averaging um, this season. Uh, yeah, no, so I like him a lot in this spot. You know, pretty much the exact same spot as yesterday. Then you got McCollum against the Lakers. I mean, we're the highest, the fastest-paced team in the league. Both teams are going to be on a back-to-back. He kind of had a dud game tonight. Um, but, I mean, I, I expect him to bounce back um, tomorrow. For him to hit value, we need about 37. 37 is kind of a big number for McCollum. I mean, he hasn't really got that, you know, pretty much a, very often at all this season. He does have this 41-point game, a 35-point game. But with Lillard out, he's going to have the ball more in his hands. Um, so I do like him um, going against the Lakers. Then we're going to talk about Wiggins going against the Phoenix up-tempo game. Just had this matchup, went off for 26 fantasy points. It was nothing crazy, nothing exciting, but I hit 5.8 price tag, 27 is value. I mean, so it pretty much hits you value. Um, in this last start against Phoenix just a couple games ago, um, you know, like I said, they're an up-tempo team. Wiggins drives in up-tempo games, so I really like Wiggins. And then the last guy I'm going to talk about, uh, shooting guard, is going to be Justin Holiday. This guy is quietly having a solid season, averaging 27 fantasy points a game. For him at value, you need 25 fantasy points. The minutes have been up for the most part. You know, he's getting mid-30 minutes, which you really got to like. Um, and, I mean, he's getting you pretty much to the value. I think he has a great shot to hit value um, once again tomorrow. Um, so I definitely like Holiday on the little bit less expensive side of things. Small forward, Antacupo. I played him tonight. He busted on me. This just won't cut it. 45 fantasy points at 12,000. I needed 60. Um, you know, I definitely think you could go back to the well in this matchup. Um, he didn't, I mean, he didn't shoot very well tonight. That was the biggest problem. Uh, but he still, you know, filled up the stat sheet somewhat. I mean, he's averaging 56 fantasy points on the season. Um, so you got to like his odds to bounce back tomorrow and have a better game. Then you got KD. I didn't, I honestly didn't think KD was going to do it to the Lakers the way he did. He went off for 69 fantasy points. I thought with Jermon Green back that he was going to um, kind of, you know, lose a little bit of stats. But no, I mean, he still killed it today. 69 fantasy points. The price only went up 100. Going against Denver, um, I really like KD in this matchup. George, I mean, I'm sorry, Butler, his price is down a little bit. For him to value, you need 45. Um, I mean, he's been killing for the most part. He had a couple of down games. 
Um, you know, against Denver, he only got 36. Phoenix, he got 28 in a great matchup. But besides that, I mean, 44, 51, 55, 56. He's playing very well. 45 for him to hit value. I definitely think he's going to get there um, against the, the Suns. I mean, he's not going to have two bad games against one of the worst teams in the league, in my opinion. Then we got Simmons. Played him tonight. He went off. 36, almost 37 fantasy points. I'm going to go right back to the well. You need 32 for him to hit value. Um, going against the Wizards in this up-tempo game. Um, I really like him tomorrow. Um, the Magics are struggling, and they're they're relying on him a lot to, to you know do some stuff. And he's been having you know some really, really solid games. 46, 39, 32, 40. Dud game, back to 36. So he's been consistent. Um, I'm like him against Washington. Then we got Richardson. This guy's been the biggest beneficiary of Drogic being out. I mean, the minutes are really, really high. You got to really like that. And then look at what he's done. I mean, in the past four games, he's got you at least 40 in three of the past four with the 35 spot, which is still very solid. At his 6000 price tag, you need 30 for him to hit value. Um, so, I mean, what do you think the odds are of him, hit, him hitting value again tomorrow? I like the odds a lot. I really like Richardson in an up-tempo game against the Pelicans. Um, then I'm going to quickly talk about Turner. Gets my Lakers. Um, today, he only played 21 minutes. I expected him to play a little bit more uh, minutes against um, against Denver. But, I mean, it didn't work out that way. Um, you know, go right back to the well tomorrow. For him to hit value, you know, you need about 22. Um, if he's going to play mid-30 minutes, especially against my Lakers in an up-tempo game, um, I really like his chances of getting there. Power forward, Anthony Davis. He had a dud game somewhat tonight, and he was chalk. Um, you know, it happens. I, like I was saying last night, it's tough for Anthony Davis and Cousins to both go off in the same game. Um, he's going against Miami. They're without Whiteside. They're without James Johnson, so they're thin, um, you know, and they're big. Uh, the Miami's thin. You know, they don't have too many bigs right now. Um, they're playing some young guys. Um, so I like Anthony Davis. Draymond. Came back today against the Lakers. Almost had a triple-double. He didn't really miss a beat. Played 30 minutes. Um, got 37 fantasy points. For him to hit value, you're going to need about 43. Um, going against Denver at home. Um, I definitely I like Draymond um, tomorrow. I think he's solid. I wish his price was a little bit lower. But without Curry, you know, it's fair. So I like it. Um, I like Olenek. He's been playing well. He busted on me today, though. Um, I just wanted to mention him. Then we got Kuzma. I mean, the guy is playing massive minutes the past two games. 39-42. Actually, the past three games. 39-39-42. And he's been on, you know, he's doing work. 37, almost 38, 55, 51. For him to hit value, you need about 33, 34. Um, I definitely think he's going to get there against Portland. Carmelo, I mean, I'm not going to go into him. I'm just going to say 6200 for Carmelo just feels cheap. You need 31 for him to hit value. Um, he's averaging 30 on the season. He's been picking it up a little bit the past couple games. Um, you know, last game against Utah, he only played 25 minutes, but he got you 28 fantasy points. Him, I just like the price. I just think his price is a little too cheap for him. Um, so I would definitely take a look at him. We got Gibson. I mean, he's playing massive minutes. He just faced Phoenix a couple games ago, played 40 minutes, and got us 37.5. He only needs 30 for value. Um, so I like Gibson. I like Thaddeus Young. There's a lot of power forwards that I like. I like Thaddeus Young. Um, you know, he's been struggling the past couple of games, so his price is down a little bit. I probably would prefer Gibson, um, but both of them are really good plays. Then you got Favors. No go Burt, so he's, he's playing some extra minutes. Um... You know, I, I like him. I mean, for him to have value, you need about 28. He's averaging 26 on the season. Um, I think he's more of a GPP play. I would probably rather uh, find the money and go with Gibson or go with Thaddeus Young. Um, I don't like the fact he's going to be banging with uh, down there with Adams. But, I mean, he's good. And he's shown us upside this season a couple times. 
40 point games, 50 point games. Um, so, I mean, and, you know, going against OKC is a little bit of an up tempo matchup. Um, so, I definitely like favors. Now, we'll go to center. DeMarcus Cousins, best center in the league. He had a way better game than uh, Anthony Davis had today. I mean, Cousins is the beast. The minutes are there. Um, I mean, he scores. It's just if he gets his secondary stats or not, which determines how big of a game he has. Um, for him to have value, you need 55. Uh, you know, I definitely, I like him. You know, like I said, with the Heat, they don't have a lot of big guys. They don't have a wide side. So this is a favorable matchup for Cousins. We got Towns. I mean, Towns is just Towns. He's playing very, very well right now. Um, last time he faced Phoenix just a couple games ago, he got 55 fantasy points. Um, in the last game, he played Denver. He got you 25 and 10. So, I mean, he's playing very well. He had one dud pretty much in the past six, seven games. That was against Portland going against Nurchich. Kind of got to him a little bit. But the minutes were there. And for a sitter to get this many minutes is something that you really, really got to like. Um, so I really like Town Samar. I think he's going to be low owned as well. Then we got where is he at? Al Horford. I mean, he's just consistent. Going against Chicago, he's going to be banging against Robin Lopez. Robin Lopez isn't somebody that really scares me. Um, you know, for him to have value, you need about 36. He's averaging 34 on the season. He's had a couple down games. You know, that's fine, though. Because, you know, he's been very consistent all season. It's not something that really scares me. Um, Celtics, they've been struggling a little bit. They're getting criticized. They need a big win. Um, their big-time players are going to perform. Um, well, I think tomorrow, and I think Al Horford will have a big part of it. Then we got Randall. This is the most frustrating situation tonight. He played 24 minutes only against Golden State. He killed 21 and 10. One assist, one block, two steals for 41 fast points. When he was going against Houston, we expected at least 24 to 26 minutes. He only got us eight minutes. And that, that was the really, really frustrating thing. We're like, what the hell are you doing, Luke Wallen? But if you know, if we know that he's gonna play 24 to 28 minutes, I mean he's got a great play at 5,200 against Portland. It's just is he going to play those minutes? I mean, this could just be an outlier. You know, this definitely because if you look at it, you know, last time he played under 20 minutes was also against Houston. So maybe the coach just doesn't like that, you know, him playing against Houston, the, that matchup for him. Um, so, I mean, I like him a lot. He probably is a little bit more of a GPP play just because we don't know if the minutes are going to be there. But he definitely has the upside, especially at that price tag. We got Gortat. I mean, he's only 4500 He's just too cheap. You need 22 for him at value. He's averaging 25 on the season. He had an off game today against Brooklyn. Um, but the past couple games, I mean, he overall, he's been playing pretty well. You know, against New Orleans, um, banging against Boogie Cousins, he got us 39 fantasy points. Um, he had an off game against Cleveland, then 26, 32. So he's been somewhat up and down. But for his price tag, even if he got just 18, it's not going to kill you. You know, it's going to allow you to pay up elsewhere. There are some really, really good plays on this slate. Um, so I do like Gortat. And the last guy I'm going to quickly mention, um, I was reading something about that it's possible that, um, that Marc Gasol could be out tomorrow. So if Marc Gasol is out, Brandon Wright's probably going to get the start. Um, I mean, this guy, he's, he's nothing special. Don't get me wrong. But... I mean, he's going to get you some points. He's going to get you some rebounds. Um, at minimum price, um, I think he'll be, he could be a solid value play if he starts and he plays anywhere from 22 to 25 minutes. Um, so I'll definitely keep an uh, eye out on the news tomorrow for Mark Gasol. So that's kind of where I'm at, you know, for this for this day. Sorry, I was, I was a little bit quick and a little bit boring. Um, I mean, there's so much stuff that we really got to wait on and see what kind of news is coming out. Um, so we'll just go into it real quick. Napier, I really like Napier. Um, I think he's a really good play. Um, at shooting guard, probably going to have to go with McCollum against the Lakers. Small forward, probably say KD. Power forward. 
we will say we'll go Gibson against Phoenix. I like Gibson a lot tomorrow. Center. I mean, you can go. We can put in Towns. Try to fit some value in there. Um, I mean, there's a couple ways we could go. I like Towns a lot tomorrow, to be honest. Um, you know, one one. I mean, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna skip center because if if Gasol is out tomorrow, I really like Wright. Um, I'm kind of undecided what I want to do center, but point guard wise, I think you can go Napier. I'm gonna give you five plays still. I think you can go this route. Napier, Bledsoe, McCollum, KD, G Gibson. This is a solid start to your lineup tomorrow. You know, 5,800, you can, you know, if Wright's out, you can put him at minimum price, pay up right here, and you would have a killer lineup. So there's a lot of ways you could go with this. So this is kind of what I'm going to do for you uh, for my core for today. So, yeah, hey, that's where I'm at. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure and subscribe. Please make sure to click the like button. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. You have a good one. Take care.